Okay, we have a lot to go over today. I'm, it's going to be a lot, so bear with me. Right now, we are on the Buy the Entire Map series. We are going to be combining this series and its goal with the Billionaire series, which is normally sitting right here on this farm. Here's some important things. I went through you guys' comments, I read through all of your ideas, and I think what we're going to do is take 50% of the land that we have. So if you guys remember, in Billionaire, we have this piece, this piece, this piece, this piece, and this piece down here, number five. And then as you see in this series, we have, uh, well, we actually have this piece, this piece, and this piece. So what I want to do is take essentially these two pieces right here and not this piece right here. By taking 22 and 15, we will include those into our billionaire series and have more land to satiate our oil production, which is what our plan was for this series. But we're also not taking a huge like gain so that is completely unfair. I think it's completely fair since we're now going to have to own the entire map and we're going to have to have a billion dollars. So, you know, a little short term game, but it's going to cost us in the long. But I'm OK with it because I think it will benefit us. So we need to figure out exactly how much we need to transfer over. The only other thing we will be taking is the value of the combine and its header. So the Combine is currently valued at 147730 and the header is currently valued at 29885 Whew, numbers are hard. You know what? Fun fact, numbers are so hard that I owed IRS, you know, I owed them some money, right? So I, I wrote them a check for that amount of money, right? Well, I'm not going to tell you the whole amount, but let me tell you, there was a one and there was a seven involved towards the latter end of this number, and I wrote seven and a one. So I paid them a little more than I was supposed to, my bad. <laughs> you can guarantee I ain't never gonna see it again. <laughs> but here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead, take a picture of that so I know the price. Gonna take a picture of that so I know the price. And I also want to snag the cost of this field right here and the cost of this field here. Okay. Okay, we're back. This is the Billionaire series you guys are so very familiar with. As you can see, 63,000 is what we're sitting at right now. And that's just because I moved time forward to harvest season so we can get our two canola fields harvested right back here that you see ready to harvest. Now, what I'm going to do is add the value for all of these things. And aside from the combine, we're gonna then buy the fields and we'll try to figure out, we'll just use that money from the combine to hopefully be able to buy a combine of some kind. It won't be an exact one-to-one, -one, but I just wanted to take some of its value out, right? Now I will tell you that in total we had 876 thousand dollars over there i didn't want all of that so that's why we're only taking this small portion so first i'm going to add two hundred and twenty six thousand six hundred and fifty six dollars now before you get too upset i want you to know that we're also not going to be getting rid of our loan we're not going to be paying off that loan with that money i'm going to keep our loan and paid off with money we earn and we will continue to use loans moving forward. And we'll, uh, we still haven't figured out the restrictions on them, but once we need it, we will get it figured out. Okay, so we've added that money. Now I'm gonna immediately go buy this field. Is it got a crop in it? What's a crop? What's cr no, don't be, don't. No, sugar beet. Yeah. In the arms of the angel. <laughs> All right, we'll buy it. Give me that sugar beet field, baby. Mm, back down to 63,000. The other field was 118,608. So we go ahead and add that money in and buy that piece, which was, I believe, this right here. Purchase. Boom. So now that's the land we've added. This piece, this piece. So we have increased quite a good bit. We could have added this piece as well. And I didn't, but I think that this is very fair and more than enough and exactly what we need for our oil production. Lastly, we're going to add the value of the combine stuff, and that's the money that we get to use ourselves. So the header was 29885, which we will add there. And the combine was 147, whoops, hold on, 147,730. All right, there we go. Up to 240,000 is what we're now going to sit on. Combining these two series together, we now have two goals in this series. We're going to get a billion dollars, and we're going to have the entire map. And yes, we're going to still have a billion dollars after having the entire map. I know. Lovely, isn't it? So we're going to turn the clock up a little bit here, and we're going to get right to work. We've got all that sorted. We need to get some kind of combine. Now, 
I don't really want to buy any of that, so we're not going to. I want to take a look at our harvesters and see what we got. Okay, so we had this bad boy right here. We obviously can't buy it again. We could lease it, but I want to try to avoid that. I think I'm okay with going with the smaller combine. This one, not a bad idea. What's the... What's the header size? Let me see. Six meters or we've got five meters. Not a big difference. This one holds 8,500. This one's 4,900. 12 mile an hour, 12 mile an hour. I'm not seeing a huge, huge difference. I think we'll go the cheaper route. That's 75 plus another 25. Yeah, that's going to be cheaper. Let's do it. So we've uh, leased this in the past. I think we've actually owned it in the past. We're going to buy it again. And hopefully I don't regret my decision. We also need to get the header, of course. So we're going to buy that as well. Now we're down to $140,000. So here is our beautiful combine that we're actually going to hold on to. We have the asset. We're not going to lose the asset now. Unless I find something on a sale and, you know, I can just get a little cash out of it. Then, hey, you know. But I'm talking like a combine for a combine situation there. All right. Let me sneak over to the field and we'll get right to work here. By the way, uh, between the last recording and this recording, I did do all of the hay work again. I did let it grow for a whole extra month to be able to get that full yield. And uh, we put it all in the barn as well. So we're on to harvest. That's where we're going to get to. If you guys can't tell, I've been reading a lot of your comments. I'm trying to do everything you guys want in this series. And I'm trying to make all of the right decisions for you to make sure that this series is enjoyable. A lot of people have last for longer videos. So I will try to make sure that they are as packed with content as possible. People have asked us not to like be too slow on the time and focus on a particular task for too much. So I'm trying to do some of that off screen to like kind of work through the bulk work so you can see the interesting stuff and I'll update you along the way. So all in all, trying to adapt, trying to get the things that you guys want in the videos. So do be commenting down below. I appreciate all of you. And uh, yeah, let's get back at it and get in the field. That's our field that we own right back there. Yes, sir. But it's full of a, it's full of something I don't want to talk about. So we're going to go this way. <laughs> now, our field's looking good. I did hit them with some fertilizer. We put some of the uh, honey in our storage. Looks like we have a little more there. We have one of our greenhouses going. I'm thinking we could probably be expanding that I don't know we could expand our solar too but I just have some better uses for that money right now we've got farm purpose things that we need to get sorted one of the big ones was a combine so I'm happy to see that here on the farm of course we've got these two canola fields those are big huge additions to the farm as well and I'm ready to go ahead and get started now straw disable or enable I don't even think that I can do straw with can I do straw with you this crop we're gonna find out if I can I will yeah okay I didn't think so that makes sense it's okay I mean, I would have if I could have, because extra money in my pocket. I'm never going to complain about that, but I had a feeling that would be the case. This field should get decent yield for us. We should be at least around 100, 96 to 100, maybe a little over, like a 106, maybe 110, 112. I don't know. Depends. We're not playing with precision farming in this series. If you want to see a series with us playing precision farming, modded, and uh, as realistic as we can, really, then you should check out the series that I am doing with my father. That one has been a ton of fun. You guys seem to really enjoy it as well. And admittedly, that's why we've reworked the schedule to get us down to our three series every single week we have ats farm sim with dad and the billionaire by map so that's that's what we're looking like doing and i'm looking at my neighbor's field down there thinking we could be buying one of those hmm i wonder how much those got okay nope 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 no more spending money jake you gotta make some money i'm gonna sit here and harvest this field for a little bit i guess we've officially drawn a box in the field ladies and gentlemen now i just need to go in there and draw a little check mark and we can check this box off huh <laughs> If I didn't have crop destruction on, I'd go in there and do that for the meme, but it'll cost me money, so not today, sorry. Of course, it is currently July 1st in our eighth year on this series. We've been going at it for a little while, and uh, really, I only start feel I only feel like we've just started making progress this eighth year here. You know, we uh, we made some good money on silage. I guess maybe in our seventh year, we started to make a bit of progress because we kind of got that stuff going, and we are able to make our sale this winter, this early in the like year which was pretty big for us. That helped out a big amount. <laughs> 
So I think those uh, salad bales are going to be good. We, uh, we're going to hold out and wait that whole extra month to try and get that grass and that extra point. I understand that gives me an extra bit of yield. My question, what I'm curious about, is if that gives me enough of an extra yield to even, you know, worry about it, right? Or is it more beneficial to when the crop's ready, get it out of there so it can start growing again and I can get even more cuttings in the year? It depends on, you know, how things go, I guess. I want to see how many cuttings we get and uh, we'll go from there. So far, we're at two for the year and it's July. So we're doing pretty decent. I like to get at least three cuttings out of a year. So we should be able to get probably four realistically. We'll see how it goes. Okay, long rambling of thoughts and plan done. I'm gonna finish this field. I'll see you all in a little bit. <laughs> oh, hi, sorry. I, just, I feel like I'm obligated to show you when I'm about to unload. So we need to go get our trailer. Guess I better get the John Deere on that most likely. All right, we're just gonna sneak over, grab the trailer, get unloaded, continue this little field here. We're making progress. It's about 8.20 in the morning. So time's kind of cooking along here, but we've only got these two little fields, really. I believe our one field was plowed up, I think, or harvested. The other field was sugar beet, of course, which I'll probably just plow. <laughs> so yeah, things are going pretty swimmingly, if you ask me, as my good friend Dory would say. All right, put her here, son. Right, right on in there. Good job. Very proud of you. You didn't miss the bowl at all. Look at that. I already potty trained our combine, and we ain't even had it, like, what, half an hour? If this is potty training, do I need to censor that auger pipe, or are we good? I don't exactly understand the YouTube guidelines on this one. <laughs> well, let's get back at it. All right, see you in a little bit again. I'm pretty happy with what we've got going on so far. I'm curious to see how many bales we get out of our silage and what that's going to be worth. It was worth a pretty good penny last time. So either way, we're going to move on to that field right there and continue our harvest. And the good news is that all of these leaders are going to go right to our oil facility, which we bought and have not made any money on and have just kind of sat on. So finally, we can start making some money off of that. So that's the plan. We'll see how it goes. All right, unload number two of our harvest season into our trailer. We've got 6,000 liters just now. We'll see what we've got to uh, come at the end of this harvest. I think we're going to have more than a whole trailer. Uh, we'll see. We're at 40% now. It could be. It, yeah, probably. Probably. I don't know. Yes, we'll find out. <sighs> good Lord, is it going to be 50%? Okay, definitely then. It ain't even a question. This is going to be a good yield, boys. Okay. Ain't going to see me complaining. No survey, Bob. Mm -mm. I'm going to be out here making my money. Yes, sir. Well, I've decided where some of our $141,000 needs to go. And that's into repairs on this John Deere tractor. It's looking a little rough on that repair meter. Yeah, it's not good. We really need to get it in, so... When we go take this load to the oil facility, we'll stop in there and have them do a quick fix to it. Hopefully it's fast. We'll see. I'm going to have to park up right here for the moment. We've almost got another full tank. Have a little more to go. We need to get that down to the store. We will resume this. I got to go feed horses in real life. I'll be right back. It won't even blink and you won't. Wait, blink and you miss it? Blink and you won't miss it? I don't know. Go to the bathroom and get some Kit Kats and uh, flush them down the toilet. See you later. Well, friends, we are just about done with our canola harvest for the year. We've got one full trailer and a little left over there. So we're going to haul our one full trailer into our sunflower, no, our oil plant. I call it sunflower plant. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, we could put sunflowers there, but these are canola. This is grain from a canola, canola crop, canola seed. I don't know what to call it. What do you call canola? It's a grain. It's got to be a grain, right? They look freaking delicious, though. Like I'm looking like I'm hauling a bunch of blueberries, dude. Oh, let me just take a big old bite. Nom, nom, nom. You know what I'm saying? All right. All right. All right. I'm, I'm done being stupid for the next five seconds. And then we're going to get to town and we'll see how it goes from there. You are not me, Familia. Stop lying. Those people are always trying to tell me that they're my family. I'm not adopted. Ooh, so for the first time in, well, I don't know, whenever we bought this place, we're actually going to get to use it. So that's cool because it did cost us like 80 grand to buy this. So if we can get more than 80 grand out of it, I'll be happy. We're going to unload our canola. And while that unloads, I'm going to go ahead and begin the canola process. Let's see, storing. Uh, can I store? 
store it right into... Can we distribute? I kind of want to see if I could distribute this. That is the question, and I do not know the answer, so we're going to find out over time. 18,000 liters put in. We got a little bit more left over to get, so let's sneak back over there, finish up this field, and then everything else is fertilized. We might need to rip it up and see what we can plant. That is probably a good idea. If we're doing canola, we might continue along that trend. When is planting season? It's been a little while. Next month. Okay, that works good then. We have $142,000 right now. We did, of course, as you know, get these extra fields. So we're going to have to figure those out. Actually, does that field have barley in it or is that harvested? It's been harvested. Okay. That means we'll be able to plant three of our fields. We could potentially plant all four if we do something about that sugar beet over there. Man, want me to sneak over here and just take a look at it real quick? I mean, we bought it and we haven't looked at it. We might as well go look at it. Okay, so we've got a bunch of sugar beet. Now, I don't really fancy harvesting this. I'm going to be honest with you. I have no desire to do that. Hmm. I'll, I need you guys to tell me what to do. All right. Can I rip that up and plant something else like canola? Do we have to harvest it? Let me know. Comments down below. What do you want me to do? Oh, donk. Dang, you don't have to hear from my insurance, son. Part of me feels like that should just be part of the hay field too. And then this should be canola. We should get that field down there to be canola. And maybe those fields back there could be more canola. I don't know. I don't know. Here I am talking about buying more land and switching things up. What? You know what? Patience, Jake. Patience. See how this year goes and make your changes, okay? We can plant grass anytime. We can plant canola next month. So, I think you get what I'm going to do. By the way, we had... I thought we had more in here. Oh, wait. No, I was on the wrong... Sorry. We did have more in here. I knew I was right. So, we're going to get that dumping and we'll have it... Oh, man. I cannot stop jumping in the wrong pieces of equipment, can I? <sighs> oh, train. Choo-choo. Okay, finally. Here we go. We're moving. We're, we're doing things. We're making money. We're harvesting crop. This is what I love to see. You might have noticed I accidentally drove through some of that crop. Ignore that. I call that paying my taxes. There are rocks in this field. We might need to get those sorted. I don't want to do that myself. I think I'd just hire it out. But we did. Actually, no, I'll do it myself if we get the big one. We found out that big one, well worth leasing. Well worth it. Do I need to do any lime or anything this year? Let me take a gander and find out. Hold on. Uh, plowing. No one needs plowed lime. No one needs lime. Oh my gosh. Yummy, yummy, yummy. That's what I'd like to see. That means more profits for me, baby. Woo! Hey, y'all know, like, M Lady Marmalade? That song, it's got, like, pink in it. It's got, uh, Christina Aguilera. Um, there's all, like, a ton of people in that song. I don't even remember. But anyways, it, it's stuck in my head. I can't get it out of my head. All I just keep hearing is it on repeat. Just keep, keep, keep. I'm not even gonna try it, dude. But I just get out of my head, please! Sorry, I'm having a mental break because this song literally has been on repeat for hours and i just I, I want it to it's a good song but stop stop please <laughs> i got good news i would say i have bad news but we're not there yet wait a little longer and we will be i'm sure we'll find some later but the good news is we got everything harvested so that's that's always what i like to see we got another 2200 liters as well so we're gonna have uh, 21,000. oh no not quite shy of 21,000 liters total we're gonna have 20,000 and say seven eight hundred give or take ballpark oh wait there was already some in the trailer what was there oh shoot never mind we had some in the trailer boys i did not factor that in we're gonna have more than i thought that's good news that's that it's not bad news at all still waiting on that bad news to show up where's it gonna be you know you can't have a day that's all good you gotta have some bad day that's how the world works i'm gonna walk over there and all my chickens are just gonna be dead because a, 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 a plane landed on them I'm like, what out of all you didn't hit the greenhouse or the barn but you got just chickens it's pretty impeccable get it get it get it all right uh, that's pretty bad i'm sorry is this faster looks like it might be might need to buy this field just so i can legally do this hold on oh mama never mind you want too much actually that wasn't terrible but i don't want it excuse me pardon me come on in here just gotta drop a thing off don't worry about nothing okay got the canola unloading here now we do have stones in the field but otherwise those need rolled those are fat ah, screw that what is that field so full of wheat oh it's cultivated and just got weeds in it how much it they just want too much man they just want too much how much for that oh that's way better yo that's a good price i want to buy that oh that's wait that's price and that price you get way more farmable land for almost the same price 
Okay, that's a little higher. Okay, well, good to see. I am, can we buy this? 91,000? Hmm. We have a combine. We're putting stuff in there for the oil. We have a planter. We have all that. I think for the first time, we have almost everything we need machine-wise, actually. We could benefit from a bale stacker, which we've been leasing, but we should just go ahead and purchase. But otherwise, I'm pretty happy with all the equipment we have. So I'm going to go ahead and... What's growing in it? Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Potatoes! No! Why you gotta be full of potatoes? I don't want it anymore. Not when it's got potatoes. Potatoes and sugar beets. I'm not doing neither, brother. I'll buy it, but I'm not doing the dang um. Comment down below. Are we doing them? Don't make me do the potatoes and sugar beets, please. Please. I'm gonna delete every comment that says do the potatoes and sugar beets. <laughs> that way every single comment is says do not do them. And I'm like, you guys are overwhelmingly voted. <laughs> For the record, I'm not gonna do that, but it would be funny. Okay, here's where we're at. This is in the barn. I got this stuff outside the barn. I should put it in the barn. I don't wanna do that right now. Later, okay? I should probably pick more of that up. Get off my farm. Actually, you on the trail. You doing all right. Right to Rome. I mean, we don't have right to Rome in the United States, which is what this is depicted off of. So you would most definitely be trespassing. But I'll allow it. I'll allow it. That's a good trail. I like my community. They're good people. And also, I hit them all with my tractor while they're driving their cars down the highway. So they all have dents. I see them parked out there at the laundromat and the Weimart. They all have dents in their cars, and it's because of me. I know it. There's that field we bought, by the way. Can't wait to rip it up and plant something else, huh? Huh? Sounds like a good idea. <laughs> you know, I should just take that roller out of there and put the combine in there. Probably what we'll end up doing. I need to get another barn or use my barns better. One or the other. Uh, maybe that's something we could think about. But for now, I'd like to get to planting. Although to get to planting, we're going to need to rip up some of this uh, ground that we'd already just harvested. So do I have one of those? I think we might have been leasing one. We've got a roller, a planter, fertilizer, baler, mower, roller again. Windrower, mower again, combine. Yeah, we need... I thought we bought a cultivator. Did I not go pick it up? Did I sell it? Was that a different series? I feel like that was the, that was the other series, maybe. Shoot, bro. I don't want to spend money on that. Maybe lease it again? Ow, let me go see how much it costs. We've got 280 horsepower max. Okay. Oh, cultivator. I feel like there was a very specific thing I was using. This carol. I feel like it was this. I feel like I was using this very specifically, wasn't I? Was I not? I feel like I was. No, maybe it was this. It had to have been one of them, dude. That's 45,000. I've got 50,000 in the bank. I just, uh, it's $2,200 to lease it. Well, we need to do it. So we're going to, we're going to do it. I don't want to buy it yet. It's fine. We have a lot of what we need. What we're leasing is very minimal. At the time, we're leasing a cultivator and we might have to lease a bale stacker. I don't really know what else there would be on our farm, uh, given what we do. Aside, if you guys force me to do them fields, we'll have to lease some stuff. But otherwise, are you finally going for it right when I need to turn, huh? That's how it always works. Let me turn on my blanker. Let people know. And yes, I'm eating a Kit Kat. Imagine pulling in that fast. Holy cow. Wait. While we're down here, I need to see what the repair will cost. Probably a lot, and I don't want to spend it. But our tractor really, really, really needs it. So no choice. And I also, I accidentally repainted one time. So that was fun. Repair, not repaint. 7,700. Okay. It would have been 23,000 if it was repaint. Repainting is a complete and total waste in farm sim. Don't ever, 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 ever push that button. I'm just going to put that out there. Never, ever, ever push that button. It just isn't worth it. I repainted something the other day that didn't need it at all, and I repainted it for like 12, 11,000, something like that. So that was fun. Good day. It's always a good day when you accidentally write a guy a check for $11,000. All right, moment of truth. We're going to get our fields ripped up here again. I think I'll probably hold on to this for a little bit just to make sure that we don't need it for the other fields. I want to see what you guys have to say before I move forward on that. But we are going to make sure we get these fields ripped up and ready to be planted here. 25,000 liters of canola in that production chain. We don't have, oh, we have nine liters of canola oil already. Woo! So that means we worked through a little bit. We're already making a little money here. I don't know what nine liters of canola oil might sell for, but <laughs> my guess is not 80,000. I love how with this tractor, you can more or less line your light. If you're looking on your inside cab, you can line your light or your edge of your, uh, your mud guard there. You can line that up just right with your line where you're driving on a lot of pieces of uh, pieces of equipment. Not all, obviously it has to be the right piece of equipment. It has to size up in that way, but you put your uh, mud guard kind of right on it or whatever you want to consider, whatever you want to consider your marker there. And when you hop out, it puts your tires
fire right on the spot. It leaves you a little overhang, yeah, but now you know you're not going to miss your spot. I think that's pretty good. Pretty good. Not going to complain. Also, I like this tool. It's got that first bar up front. This thing has got a lot of moving parts, though. Whew. I can tell I already need grease and some WD-40 on this. Oh, my lord. <laughs> All right. I'm going to get these fields ripped up. I'll be right back. I've had a lot of time to sit here and think while I've been doing these two fields. And I have to laugh at myself because I said I wanted to stay up there around 140 just for a day. And then I spent money. But it's okay. We got that field. I've been looking at it as we've been working. I've been thinking about removing that road. I'm just not going to. I was, I was very close. Very close to doing so. But we're going to leave the road in. And we have our two fields here ready to be planted. That field and our other field we could make ready to be planted as well. But I need you guys to tell me down below if we harvest the potatoes and sugar beets or if I can rip them up and put canola in there. For now, let's sneak through our little creek on our beautiful summer day and move on to the next thing.